all right so here i'm on my computer screen and i'm signed in with a gmail account and after that we have to visit a website which is blogger.com so hit enter and here's the platform where we are going to create our professional portfolio website step by step and as you can see here create a unique and beautiful blog it's easy and free although it's mentioning blog here but we are going to customize the theme which is really easy to do and let's do that and let me click on sign in to get started after that you have to select your gmail account that you want to use to sign in into blogger.com so let's select this one and then you have to enter your password so i'm going to put mine and then click on or hit enter and here you have to put your name as you can see you'll be seen as if you want to put your personal name that's fine so i'm going to put my name here Achhor rafi so let's click on continue to blogger so now we are in blogger dashboard and we are seeing this option right so you just have to click on this create new blog after that here we have got three fields first one is to put the blog title or website title which you want to give so for our instance as we are going to create a portfolio website i'm going to put like editor uh, portfolio website and after that here we have to put a domain name it could be acharolrafi.com or let's say editorportfolio.com these types of domain all right or actually we as we are creating in in blogspot so we have to uh, type like ajharul rafi or editor uh, portfolio.blogspot.com and then we have to select a theme here any specific theme here we have got some themes we can choose anyone so let's start from this title section so i'm going to put editor portfolio site and let's say editors All right, and after that, let's put a address here, an address actually, as editor portfolio. And let's see if we can find this website available. Yes, this is available, but if it wasn't unique, for example, if I type Ajhar Rafi here, and the name is not unique already, I have got another website. So it's showing me, sorry, this blog address is not available. So this username should be unique. All right, so let's just move back to as editor portfolio and after that we have to select any theme from this platform so let's choose this one as an example and then click on create blog and here creating a blog Azure's portfolio site was completed or created successfully so now our blog site is created and if i just click on this view blog we are going to see the basic blog which is this one but this is not going to work for us we are going to work on another template and as you can see we have got this notification from blogger as you can see here comment subscription so whenever someone is going to uh, make any response on this website we are going to receive an email from them uh, from here we are will be able to reply on any email as well all right so we are actually going to talk about this latter so this is the basic website which we have created and in the next video i'm going to show you how to upload an external template here and the resource of the template i'm going to share for sure all right so let's move on to the next video